Hi guys and welcome to my room tour well, this was supposed to happen almost a year ago now but I actually moved to an apartment in August um, because of COVID I wasn't allowed to live on campus so instead um, I moved into an apartment really close to my campus and I wanted to show you guys my room tour my friend actually asked me to do this a long time ago but of course um, I didn't get to it until now so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna take you along my bohemian minimalist bedroom. So when you walk in, the main thing in my room is my bed right now. So I'm just going to start with that. This is one of my favorite blankets. Obviously the texture is amazing. One of my tricks for this bedroom was to include a lot of textures. So this is actually a weighted blanket from Amazon that I got from my birthday. And the other side is a nice Sherpa material. I love this blanket. Again, it brings in a lot of amazing textures and it does combat the off whites that are in this room as for my bedding if you didn't notice this is the urban outfitters bedding i got this for my dorm over a year ago when i moved into college this pillow here i actually got for free because when we were moving out of the dorm rooms they had these boxes that so that you can bring anything that you were getting rid of and that they would donate and I saw this little guy and I just thought it was going to be perfect to fill off the triangle pillows that I have on my bed. Now, some of these pillows, again, I did get from my dorm room to go with this duvet cover. And um, one of those is actually this pillow here. Uh, it is a little bit smushed because I do tend to lay on my decorative pillows, which is not good. I got this from Home Goods if you guys are interested and just a little close here so you can look at all the textures. The little balls on the pillow um, match the little balls on here which I like. It brings in some round elements to combat all of the rectangular elements. And then behind it, this pillow here. And that pillow in the corner were a two-pack that I got from Marshalls. And they are almost like a linen material. And then the pillows behind it, this black and white one, I also got from Marshalls. There is a little bit of texture on this pillow, but I really liked the colors and the overall look of it. And also the size. This pink round one here is actually like a velvet suede type of pillow. It is from Ugg but I did purchase it from Home Goods when I moved in to my dorm room. Those are my decorative pillows that I have. Again, my secret for pillows are textures. I love textures. I really think it's what makes a bohemian room. As you walk further into the room, I do have this sunglass case that actually is supposed to sit on like a dresser or something but i just wanted to have it on the wall it was taking up too much room and i also think it's a great reminder when i leave my room to grab a pair of sunglasses this door right here is actually my closet and i am going to purposefully keep it closed because it is a mess in there and then as we come over here in this corner i have my in famous wall of hats as you can tell i love hats and down here i ran out of room so i just stacked those because they look really similar and then i got this gold lamp here um i did want to do a lot of gold in this room i don't know why i just felt like it would work best so i got this gold lamp for like 20 dollars on facebook marketplace and then as we go down below this is a fake plant from target that i actually thrifted at a thrift store for like five dollars same with this rattan pineapple basket it is also from target but i also thrifted it so i actually bought these together they were separate but i bought them for use together and then as for my nightstand this is a glass and silver nightstand that i've had forever back when my aesthetic from my room was modern i bought two sets of these but unfortunately one did break many years ago so i only have the one 
which is fine because as you can tell, I have no room on the other side because of my desk. What we have here is a breakfast tray that I got from Target. I have a few remotes. These are for my LED strips in my room that I will show you later tonight when it gets dark. I also have my Apple TV remote and my TV remote. And here I have a crystal that I've had forever. And I also have my humidifier, which I got from Target. Some blue light glasses. I have a few sets of those, but I have this one at night so that I don't keep myself up on TikTok for too long. And then I also have this candle that I got from Aki Home, which is the Property Brothers furniture store, for those of you that don't know. And then these little gold guys are actually from Thailand that my boyfriend got me. For those of you that are interested, I do have um, a white leather bed. I believe I got this from Wayfair many years ago. I would like to get a new one, but um, I don't have the money. And I also think that the texture of the white leather is very different and I really love it. It brings in a little bit of modern into my room, which I love a good modern um, room these days. So if we head over here to the other side of my room, this is my dresser that I got from Ikea and then I did purchase the, I believe it was $50 glass top, which again brings in, I believe that modern feel that I really love um, these days and it doesn't make it feel too modern for the bohemian minimalist look. To keep up with the minimalist idea, I have just a jewelry holder that I believe I got from Target many, many years ago. I have my favorite speaker of all time. This is Sonos. Um, Sonos, if you're watching this, sponsor me please because I would love a few free speakers and I could talk about them forever. Um, of course, I have my Apple Watch there because I just don't know where else to put it. And then on this side, I have this jewelry holder for all of my rings. And then this is my favorite candle of all time. This is the Spearmint and Eucalyptus Refresh Candle from Target. This is actually only the second time that I've been lighting it because I love the smell of it so much and I just didn't want to burn it. But, you know, hopefully when I run out, they will have more of those because it is one of my favorite scents. For those of you that are interested in the smell of the candle, it reminds me of a... Hollister and Abercrombie if you know what that smells like but it's a little bit more muted and it doesn't give you a headache and it doesn't smell too manly it's like the perfect kind of chill relaxed welcoming um, scent I would normally have this kind of scent around when I invite people over just because it doesn't give you a headache um, and it's not too like fruity or anything like that it's just modern minimalist if you can give that a scent Anyways, on the other side of my dresser, I have these two little snake plants. They were actually individual snake plants, but I moved the large tall one that I had to my living room. So I just have this next to my mirror. I got this at Aki Home for anyone that is wondering. It was only $50 to $60 and I love the size of it. And I also, again, love the gold textures. It's not too much of a gold gold it's like a brassy gold which i love for those wondering i also got my snake plants from home depot i get most of my plants from home depot before i forget the infamous rug i did want to show you my favorite rug of all time it's kind of a love-hate relationship with this rug um, but like i mentioned earlier i love textures and when i saw this i was just like i've never seen a rug like this before and i have to have it so I got this rug, it's about an off-white cream rug, and I got it from Home Depot, of course. And I think it's the brand Safavea, if that's how you pronounce it. But again, it just brings in those textures, and I also love that it's the different kind of white than the carpet. It does brighten up the room a little bit, because again, I don't have that many lights, so this is all I have. So if we come over to the other side of the dresser, like you saw earlier, I do have a mirror here and then on the other side of it I have these flowers that I've collected in this clear frame and then as we come down I used to have a plant here but uh I am not the best at keeping plants alive so I did have to get rid of them so now I just have this basket of blankets I just think this is like a great idea just to fill up some space but not 
crowd it too much. As you can tell, I have a patio. I will get to that in just a second. But before I do that, I would love to show you guys my desk area. I have this mistletoe that my dad gave me and I just flattened it and stuck it in a frame. I wanted to keep my desk space as minimal as possible because again, I don't have a lot of room as you can tell. I'm with online school right now. We just have a lot of note taking and zooming and typing. And so I like to keep only a little bit of things on my desk. So I have my blue light glasses. Again, I got a three pack. Um, they go with the clear ones that were over there on my nightstand. I will link them down below for you guys. I also have this black and gold tape holder, I guess, that I got from Target a while ago. Then I also have this eye for Ivy, obviously. It does light up, but the batteries are a little dead. I have a notebook here that I like to jot down in while I'm in class so that I don't um, distract myself with my phone. And then my lamp, yes, it is twisted uh, around because I don't have lights in my apartment complex. And this gives off the most light when it is in this angle and it makes me look a lot better on zoom. Just to the right of it, I have my vision board and my acceptance to study abroad. I'm hoping to study abroad in the fall, so please wear your masks. Let's get this vaccine going um, so that we can all travel and I can hopefully go abroad. From this angle, this is my room. Okay, so that is my main room. Of course, I have my chair from Wayfair, my blanket from Walgreens when I used to work at Walgreens, and my rattan trash bag that I thrifted. Before we go outside, I just want to mention that I also got these really long curtains from Target. It is like a linen material and it's like an off-white. It matches the walls pretty well, although I had these before I moved in here. But for me, like Bohemian Minimalist just gives off cream vibes. And to keep up with the gold, I do have a gold curtain rod up there. This is my patio. It does keep up with the Bohemian look, I believe. I got this egg chair, which is like the egg chair of my dreams, and I never, ever, 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 ever will get rid of it. It was very expensive, and I bought it um, right before they all sold out, but it is from Target. I did stack a few rugs. The main rug down there is from Target, but I also thrifted that one brand new for a very, very cheap price. Then I have this rug that's a little dirty and flattened. I had that in my dorm room. I believe I got it from Home Goods when I moved to my dorm over a year ago and it just got really dirty. So I thought it would give um, a, a little bit more to stack it on top of this rug. And then this is my plant. This is a bird of paradise for those that don't know. Originally had it in my room, but then I killed it, which is why I have the fake bird of paradise in this corner and it's just chilling out there. It doesn't really get much sun because as you can tell, I have a giant building in front of here, which is not my favorite, but this is temporary. And then it is in a rattan basket, uh, my favorite kind of baskets to get no matter the space. Even in my living room, which is more of a modern feel, I still have these to bring in some nice texture. tour. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned a little bit about my room and how I decorated it and check out the links below. Only a few of them will be affiliate links because I don't have many subscribers yet unless you subscribe which I hope you do because um, I am planning to do a lot more interior design and home videos for you. 
I also am planning on doing that on my blog. I will link that down below in addition to my two Instagrams, my personal one and my blog's Instagram. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video and I hope that you will check out my other videos. I would really love it if you subscribe to keep up with me and help me grow this community and this channel. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.